your morning sessions and, and really enjoyed it. So I look forward to the opportunity to probably attending more um, into the future. So um, as Debbie mentioned, I am um, the System Vice President for Oncology Services for Ohio Health. Um, five months in, in Ohio, it's, it's been great. I've learned Go Bucks coming out of Texas. That's something that uh, um, we're Bucks fans. It just it just happens. It's infectious. My son is covered in Bucks uh, gear already, so he's excited about the game. Come, uh, you know, you um, don't have week. to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted we wanted to fit in quickly, and I'll tell you, it's, it, it really helps the assimilation process coming forward. Um, a little bit of a fun note, I had my first official snow shoveling happen on Monday. I've never done it in my entire life. So Monday morning I had my new shovel and my gear and we hit the driveway. So um, it's been great. Again, thank you for the hospitality. Um, I've got some slides here I'm going to go through, talk a little bit um, about Ohio Health on the front end, and then spend some time talking about our oncology program and where we're going with MD Anderson um, into the future and a little bit about what it means for not only Dublin, but also the broader Columbus market in the region in and of itself. So on that note, I'll go ahead and get started. Pardon me as I turn around sometimes to uh, advance the slides here. So a little bit about Ohio Health. This is um, a little bit of a background. We've got 21,000 employees, 3,600 physicians providing services to not only the central Ohio region, but also out in the periphery at cities, at hospitals such as Med Central and Mansfield and down south in Oblenis. Um, 350 plus residents and fellows coming out of various programs, OSU as well as um, out of Miami, and then 3,500 volunteers that really bring together the Ohio Health family. And for me, it's been a, um, a great opportunity. It's, been, it's a very welcoming organization. I've enjoyed uh, my last five months here and look forward to many more, I hope. So um, this is where we're located, um, kind of peppered throughout uh, the broader Ohio market, the hospitals that are in orange there are um, truly um, um, member hospitals. So these are hospitals that are integrated at all different levels and officially part of the Ohio Health family. You see we have Morrow County Hospital, and that's a managed hospital. So Morrow County is a county hospital, but Ohio Health provides administrative services, um, quality support, infrastructure to make sure that the hospital has the right folks at the table to make it operate efficiently. And then our affiliate hospitals. These are hospitals that um, plug into Ohio Health to various degrees to integrate whether it's technology, nursing support, quality initiatives and metrics, things of that nature. So they're not wholly uh, part of the broader system, but they are very highly aligned with us um, in our operations. This slide is really, it kind of speaks to the, the good work that happens here at the Rotary. This is our community benefit slide. So at the end of the day, um, Ohio Health in 2013 had a contribution of around 200 plus million dollars of community benefit. Now this comes in the form of underinsured care, uncompensated care, as well as um, research and then um, contributions of cash and kind to the broader system. So you can see that within the Ohio Health and the Ohio community of Ohio Health itself has a um, huge give back and we do provide some great services to um, to our citizens here. Go forward. So these are some of the um, accolades that uh, Ohio Health has earned over the years. Um, one of the most important ones from a health system perspective is the Thomson Reuters um, top five large health systems. These are um, metrics that are pulled together by Thomson Reuters as they evaluate um, large health systems across the U.S. And being in the top five speaks volumes to the quality of care that um, the citizens of Ohio get through, not only Ohio Health, but also their affiliate hospitals. It's a great place to be um, from a employer standpoint, um, top 100 companies eight years in a row by Fortune. Um, LeapFrog's given us a uh, safety score of A, so just some, some bragging rights, if you will, about Ohio Health and the good services that they provide. Um, and then at the bottom, that's just, um, uh, that $2.5 million in operating revenue is to show that it's a financially strong organization. We are not-for-profit, but we also have the wherewithal from a resource perspective to grow and expand services across um, the broader Ohio community. And if there are any questions as I go through this, very informal, please let me know. Just shout out Mike and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, some of our clinical accolades, we are accredited by the American College of Surgeons as well as by ACR uh, for our radiology and our breast imaging excellence. Um, as well as the NAPBC, that is a accrediting body that 
looks at comprehensive breast cancer programs um, across the nation, and um, there are uh, criteria that they look for, and you meet those, you, um, they bestow the accreditation upon you. We're also um, certified by Joint Commission for our lung cancer um, initiative and our program around lung cancer, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a, a few slides. Now, this is what I'm good at. This is where I